हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल माइक्रो बायोलॉजी ईजी नोट्स इफ यू लाइक दिस चैनल प्लीज लाइक सब्सक्राइब कॉमेंट एंड शेयर टूडेज वीडियो इज ऑन डेंगी फीवर इट्स कॉजेज सिम्टम्स डायग्नोसिस एंड ट्रीटमेंट डेंगी इज अ मॉस्किटो बॉन डिजीज दिस डिजीज इज ऑल्सो नोन एज ब्रेक बोन फीवर बिकॉज द पेन इज लाइक बोन्स आर ब्रेकिंग इन द बॉडी अनदर नेम ऑफ डेंगी इज डेंदी फीवर Slaves in the West Indies who contracted dengue were said to have different posture and gait. Female mosquito is responsible for the transmission of disease. Here female mosquito act as a vector because it carries dengue virus. Dengue transmission. First uninfected mosquito bites infected person. Then virus goes into the midgut of mosquito and replicates here. After that virus reaches to salivary gland of mosquito this infected mosquito when bites to healthy individual virus enters into the human body after 3 4 days of infection human shows symptoms of dengue pregnant lady can also transmit dengue infection to the baby causes of dengue dengue mosquito breeds in water especially in the deposit water of tires baskets buckets vases tree holes wall holes and cracks because containing water is not running thus it becomes the perfect breeding ground for mosquitoes symptoms of dengue common symptoms are nausea vomiting fever headache muscular pain diarrhea body ache and high grade fever etc and now severe symptoms lower blood pressure low number of rbc lower number of platelets a uh, bloody stool bloody vomiting swelling in liver pancreas and in brain fluid accumulation in lungs uh, there is a dengue shock syndrome also uh, which can cause multiple organ failure and sometimes death diagnosis of dengue several methods can be used for diagnosis of dengue that depends on the patient's condition first method is reverse transcriptase polymerase chain reaction which amplifies rna of virus present in patient's blood sample or serum sample serological method used for dengue virus diagnosis is elisa which is a enzyme linked immunosorbent assay anti dengue antibodies which are formed in patient's body detected by this method immunoglobin m antibodies are detectable in a week after infection and remain detectable for about 3 months presence of immunoglobin m indicates recent dengue virus infection while presence of immunoglobin g informs about past infection treatment of dengue there is no specific treatment of dengue to reduce symptoms acetaminophen or paracetamol can be given apart from that patients are advised to take enough rest and take plenty of water anti inflammatory drugs are avoided in dengue because it can increase the symptoms in severe condition patient may get hospitalized prevention of dengue as we know prevention is always better than cure the best ways to prevent dengue are never allows water to settle in open container use mosquito repellent whenever and wherever is required spray anti mosquito spray in open areas like garden though few anti dengue vaccines are available but these vaccines don't provide enough protection against dengue hygienic condition should be maintained 